Oh, there's a teleport spot. Wizard. Another wizard for us to abuse. This one's got a stone block. Oh, throw it on. I thought you were just gonna throw it across the way onto the other platform. Oh. You could have. Oh. Shh. <laughs> Because there's that one right there. Yeah. I actually didn't even realize that they were close to each other. Normally I'm like paying full attention, but I'm gonna be honest. It's probably within throwing range. Yeah, it's absolutely within throwing range. I just, it just didn't even occur to me. There you go. And that one will be able to withstand the flames. Oh no, fire. Whatever will I do? Okay, yeah. Watch it just immediately burn on us. There you go. There we go. And that should now be Now we it. can... Well, actually, we're still going down here. Mm -hmm. At least it... No. Oh. Well, at least it didn't reset the area. Look before you leap. I... That is a phrase that has never applied to me. Why should it now? How do you think I get around my crippling vertigo? The answer is I don't look. Period. Vertigo? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, where's my food? My fish is overcooked. This is not what I ordered. But Babo's food sucks. No surprise. Hi there, Ellie. It's me, Drew, again. Gassy was recently here. She did not look fully stable. No, ma'am. Not stable at all. My intellect tells me she's heading for the greasy hamlet. Home of Bird the Mechanic, Master of Tools. Just think, thinking of what's about to happen makes me shiver. Like, look at these beautiful set pieces. Look at all this whole thing. It's gorgeous. I'm still in awe. At, they look like aqueducts. Like yeah. Like ancient ones. And, but really... I'm just baffled as to how these creatures could have developed this, unless the, these were ruins from a long Now nah, look at their age. little shanty huts. They barely no, can construct no. a home. Okay, let's talk with them. Now you have enough to get a nice new outfit. Woohoo! Now how do you equip it? Also, what staff do you want? Okay, so we can go to outfit. Yeah, we could get a new staff. Uh, Honestly, huh? I like the first one. The first one with the curly top? They are, a number of them have curly tops. The one with the orange outline currently. Okay, sure. You can see what it looks like. I mean, it's kind of hard to see, but this it is It has fine. a much smaller crystal, which I like. Because the other ones seem to have a... <laughs> uh, um, wow, it really it, spins. It waggles. <laughs> Just clonk the bird. Seagull! Just watch it biff the seagull out of the sky. All right, do we have like a boss fight or? Nope. And this game really should have just been like a world to explore. What? How did you get through to here? Why don't you stop, Ellie? Please, come on, just give up. You'll realize that I am the best guardian. I am in total control. Go home and celebrate your birthday, and I'll handle things just fine. Stupid bridge. Be gone. I mean, she's obviously got evil magic, but... It's immediately obvious that she is way more powerful than our doofy character. Like, this is the extent of our magical powers. Boop! <laughs> Boop! Boop! Like, she just wrecked a whole bridge and stuff. And she ignited all of the air vents on fire. Yeah! And... Like... I'm surprised she hasn't gone on about how, you know, you're old, Ellie. 600. You're well past your prime. I am much better suited to... 
Oh, because it's a like a small searing crystal or something. Yeah, the crystal leaves behind a smoke trail. <laughs> At first I was like, am I just spitting fast enough that I'm just spitting up smoke? And the answer is no. I I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if I can play more of this right now. Okay. It's Wait, we're, but we're almost I'm pretty sure we're gonna get to the first crystal as soon as we get across. Okay. That bridge. We'll go through that bridge. If it's another puzzle room, I'm going back. I don't believe Gasty is controlling. I fear Gasty overestimates her guardian abilities. If she drops a single crystal. Like, I don't mind puzzles. Everyone is fretting over the fate of the universe. Whilst they do nothing. I don't mind puzzles at all. I think puzzles are quite nice. And it's fun just, to do them. They're just languishing about. Come on, guys. Help? I just feel like I need more of a reason than get to point. Oh, you need to get back and around. Oh, I gotta get these two. Yeah. I think I need a little bit more than just get from point A to point B puzzle mechanics. In a game. I think with without, like... Like, there's variety in the level design, but not the... Um, I think there was another one that you had that required green. Um... That one down there. Yeah. Yeah. But I wonder what opens that door. This is not Anything you can reveal with your staff? I don't think so. With those. Um. Wouldn't it be interesting if you could actually platform over there? There was a protrusion of stone. I could try and speed run it. Okay, so that does not affect the other one. Oh. Hmm. So I don't see anything else around here. I think I'm supposed to go up through that other door. I don't know. And then you come back and around? Yeah. Well, can you jump onto that? Oh, probably not. It's probably gonna have an invisible wall. Yeah. Yeah, it looks it looks like it's invisible wall territory. Absolutely. I did made it. Okay, so we wanna switch these out. And I guess we'll just you do this entire thing, and, uh... I... Uh, we'll have to see what comes next. What's in this room? Oh, does this just get us to through, like, another door? Looks like it. Hooray for Sko! Really, hooray! What? What are? The, who's Sko? Oh, there we go. Probably their current leader. I thought everyone was late. Uh, I mean, as far as Spartacus situations go, yeah, probably. Oh no. Oh no. I've trapped myself. It's okay. They still counted, though, right? Yeah, yeah, we still get them all. Not that it matters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there were a couple of crystals at the base of those pillars down there. Yeah. I'm just in a... position of, like, does it matter? Because, like... If you want to collect more appearances, yeah. Yeah, but it's just recolors. Mm -hmm. And, like, we've already got the vastly superior color set. So, does it matter? Uh, what? Wait, what? Uh, what? But there was another dude there. I guess. I guess there's just a certain amount you there's can fall before it's like no. Mm -hmm. okay. Wait, so there, this is the third door? Yeah, it's just a random third door that punch a wizard. But where can you throw that? Over there.
Okay. We don't know where that particular grading was, but... Yeah, the levels are starting to get more, like, interconnected in a weird way. I'm hoping that doesn't, like, reset and we have to come back... Uh... It shouldn't. So where are we? Well, oh, so this the opened the door. Oh, Sko the Joyous. It's that little guy with... Wait a minute, does he have... What, the equivalent of tattoos? And yeah, those, these, these guys is, look like punks. They are. He's the joyous, apparently. I am Sko, the leader of the Mandragora. Here for some reason you wanted to know. Here for my key, I assume. You can have it. I don't want it. It's getting late. I believe it's time for me to leave. It was very nice meeting you. Bye. The other two are late. Very nice to meet you. Sko doesn't care. But, uh, you can have my key, but first, you have to go get it. It's a lazy bout. I, I, yeah. Apparently so. Okay, I assume we just have to get onto this thing. I just... Oh, there we go. It definitely has an odd tone. Totally, it, it's... It's peculiar. It's charming. Like, the game is charming. I think it's just, like, I'm bouncing so hard off of, like, the just raw game design of, like, go into a, a new room... You know, flip a couple of switches. Open the door to the next zone, go through. Um, you know, for me, level design is this honestly massive thing. You know, the, the, the more I, I do this, the more I realize, like, level design is the most important thing in a game sometimes. And so for this game, it's not... It's not that it's bad or unfun, it's just that, like, it's laid out in such a way that I'm, I'm baseline, like. For me, if there was a little bit more lore associated with the mechanisms and the objects in the world, I'd be happier. Like, if those NPCs had something to say about what their society was like here, other than... Hi, I'm a cook, or hi, I'm a gangster, or hi, I'm a blank, and I had just happened to be the leader of the Mandragora. Uh, I was, we've already learned this several times over. Everyone believes that they're ruling the Mandragora. And so. Maybe it's because they're such a decentralized society. Maybe, yeah. Everyone fancies themselves in a role of leadership. Hmm. Yeah, there's one in there. That's probably one of the last ones you get. Oh, you were supposed to jump down to that. This and then is that. awkward. Mm-hmm. Okay, we have enough time. I should be able to make it. Nope. Maybe... We're actually supposed to go up this way. Yeah, I bet Possibly. we're actually supposed to climb up from that way. But then why would you have the teleporter up? To get back? Because, yeah, this is laid out so much more sensibly. Yeah, it works better. Got it. Great. There we go. And then you die because you're not. It's not actually a jump. That's why there's. Perform. That's why there's the teleporter. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's see what we get through here. A rift in the summit. This looks promising. It does. There's a portal. It does. 
Oh boy! Would you look at that? It seems as if Gasty dropped a crystal. What? So it broke. She she broke one of them. This is precisely what I feared would happen. A rift is a hole in time. Only you guardians are able to time walk. Time walking is the only way to get the crystal back. Oh dear. While time walking, you'll be able to teleport for a short distance called Blink. You can also perform a second jump while in the air. A double jump. Reach the end of the rift before the time bubble collapses in on itself. Please get that crystal back. She... Ooh, a time platforming puzzle. A favorite. So, what are the buttons for... Uh... Blink is A. Oh, oh my it's a side scroll. God. Oh, it's your favorite type of level design. And I'm saying that because you did this last night. Yeah. With the goo. But it's... With the goo wall. Worse. So, notice how she has no hustle. Hmm. Well, that's what the links. Oh, why are you sighing in so deeply? It, it just hurts. Like, if it was my job to manage these things and if this was an eventuality i would be like i wouldn't have kept them in a giant glass vessel well yeah right outside so that, my that's house. that's for start but like <laughs> like if i knew that someday i might have to go into one of these and like survive oh no you have to backtrack and like you know, the fate of the universe relies entirely on my ability to do this. I would run every day for hours <laughs> because her current hustle is got it. thoroughly lacking. It looks like she's on a brisk stroll through the time apocalypse. And that created the dodecahedron. Yay, we got it. We got the thing. One of the time crystals. Hi, Ellie. One down, four to go. That brings me some hope, but we shall not throw a party just yet. You must get the rest of the crystals back before your birthday's over. Or time itself will end with the day. That means everything will end for eternity. Without time, there can only be nothingness. Hope you'll catch up to Gasty before she drops more crystals. Goodbye. Ellie, at this moment. Worst birthday ever. That was a nice walk. 600 years and... And this has to happen on my birthday. 600th birthday. You got the die 12. You do more damage now. That would be great. The new biome looks nice. Well, wait, this is the greasy hamlet. Hello there. Oh, it's so weird not being able to rotate the camera myself. So there's a bunch of gears and planes and... I suppose this is where the mechanic came from. Oh, Bert the Handy. Hello there. Gears make our world go round, but I'm very upset. Seems as if our fun's come to an end. My fellow buddies up in Cranky... in the Cranky Contraption Caverns complained about Gasty wrecking our machines. I suppose I'll have to drag myself over there to fix everything. As usual. I got a bolt. See you later, Ellie. I don't know if that was intentional, but bolt is a good word to Probably. use. Probably. Probably intentional pun. I w wouldn't put it past this game. Uh... I'm pretty sure in any other game you would have monsters running at you and you'd have to plow your way through them. Wait, yeah. what's that? A oh, bomb. It's like a bomb flower. But more mechanical in nature.
And there are rocks to blast. There are a bunch of rocks to blast. Can you lift the rocks? No. Okay. These are not the kind of rocks that you can lift. Because I remember in the prior zone you were lifting substantially large. Well, I wouldn't call them boulders, but these are these are definitely boulders. Yeah, these are most definitely big rocks. I mean, truly, she could probably lift them anyway. What are the designation for rocks? So there's rock, boulder, well, no, pebble. slab, pebble. Stone. Stone. Uh. Because I'm trying to think of in terms of size. So bad. What? Oh, the top hat? Why it did you buy it? I don't know. I'm <laughs> taking it off. There we that go. That looks nicer. We don't need the fez. No, we don't need either of them. I was really hoping, like... The recolors looked kind of nice, and the staves looked kind of nice. I would have liked her to have different nice. horns instead of hats. Yeah, like the hats are just kind of dumb. Maybe horns with feathers hanging off of them. Yeah, or... like a proper headdress, some other things. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Let's just grab these crystals. Not that it matters. Could blow up the rocks. You don't seem too enthused about continuing. I suppose we have recovered the first crystal. We did get the first crystal. I think it's mainly just like... Ooh, so these are the Cranky Contraption Caverns. Now, Cranky as in the caverns have a foul temper, or Cranky as in there's cranks going on? <laughs> Probably the cranks going on, maybe. So Don't I think, you need to have someone manually crank something, or can machines crank? You can have machines crank, as long as you've got fuel. Maybe? Not really, though, because you'd, you'd use a different verb. Crank is something a, a human mm -hmm. generally does to, mm -hmm. to get a machine going, so... No, my problem is just, like, I was really expecting these would have, like five open world environments that we'd kind of wander around in solving puzzles and grabbing collectibles I also within them. would like it if we had different manners of creatures. I thought that we were going to go to different dimensions with different with, with different inhabitants and stuff. Yeah. But these are just the I don't even know what they're called. The They're like not Kadamas. They're almost Kadamas. Mm -hmm. But like Momodo Momo, what? Momogora? Mon, mon, no. Yeah. Oh, well, no. I, yeah, I've I already know. forgot about what they all claim to rule. But, like, instead it's these, these like, little vignette rooms, which aren't necessarily terrible. It's just... I like the lighting in this place, Yeah, the lighting, the visuals. Whomever, like I said towards the beginning, whoever was in charge of the art did a great job. Like, look at the stone blocks we're on. Mm -hmm. The texturing on that is great. This thing... And the way the light mm -hmm. pull plays off of it, that looks really nice! You know, the little metal vases are a little odd. And, like, these stone blocks coming in and out actually don't look half bad. It's just the main problem is, like, all I'm doing is getting from point A to point B. I brought up Hob, which was a game where it was a big open world environment, separate biomes, whatever. And every environment had a bunch of different, like, little upgrades you could grab, some of which were, like, health. Uh, or like combat related and a number of them were also like helping you get access to other interesting areas in other zones and so we were exploring around to find ways to like unlock new things and I, I think you know this kind of gameplay and like traditional platformers you know that you just get from the left side of the level to the right side and exit through the exit feels so dated it's hard for me to enjoy at the same time it could work for things like portal because with portal it had a very unique mechanic yeah but and i think that's the thing just basic platforming and but switch. also glados was really charismatic and yeah a good character to keep you intrigued by the world and i mean celeste we should just play celeste at some point just to <laughs> use this as a conversation piece because so you're not gonna 
bounce around, or is this like I, a closing I video? I can. I think this is a closing thing for me. I mean, if people really, really want us to get, come back to it, I don't mind, and I can probably rustle up some more enthusiasm. I mean, I did say towards the beginning of this that I'm, I'm getting a, a migraine, so it's like mm -hmm. my enthusiasm to begin with was, was low. But like, you know, I'd rather go back to Hat in Time right now or Spyro, because I think those are both very well done in terms of like level design and so on and so forth. I'm like, this is neat, but I'm just jumping. And I think that's a hard thing for me because just There's, jumping is- We definitely is... had other games with just jumping. Look at, um, what was it? Seasons After Fall? Which was kind of boring. The only reason why it was good was because it was beautiful. And it had collectible bits to be looking for that weren't just hat coins. Oh, because there were the memories. Yeah. That, like, helped tell the story. And when we were playing Faye, there were also the the memories and... And we were also unlocking we were new, new powers. Uh, unlocking new powers in games like this actually helps a lot. Because it gives you something to latch onto. Something to save up for. Just cosmetic stuff can work if it's an interesting cosmetic. But, I mean, Top Hats and Fezzes do not... Oh, hello. Hello there. First set of contraptions fixed. Don't know who built this these particular ones. Always a bird who has to step in and fix everything. Every day. Every day. But I don't want to complain. It's actually very rewarding fixing things. Yeah, but I want to know who made these. Yeah, like... I... It, it feels like we have Mandibora. these interesting levels and world and stuff, and it. I it really like those electric blocks. It doesn't matter. I I don't know. I think it's because you don't want to save the Mandragora. No. <laughs> I've not been given a compelling reason to play like another four six hours of this game. And it's not that it... It's like, it's not that it's bad, it's just that, like... I'm kinda bored. It's also late and you're tired. Yeah. We did, we did stay up really late. No, it's true. It is true. I just... I, like, I can't put it into words. Would you rather me play? Not right now. Nah. No, nah, I want to go lay in bed. I'm just trying to, like, figure out how to put it into words. Because, like, I don't have unkind say things to say about this. I like I'm those just, lanterns. I'm just, like... Look at the way that that light plays off of the... Yeah! It looks great! Like, the only thing that pushes me for forward and pushed me forward to this far was because I wanted to see whatever the artist had come up with. And they did come up with some pretty good stuff, like... I mean, yeah, obviously it's just this basic blocky level design, but the the texturing and the the environments in the backgrounds look great. And like, it's fun punching wizards, but <laughs> it only does so much. Oh wait, you might have to use your power in order to, you know, to bring I, up. A I think I'm actually to supposed that. to move this over. Like this uh... platform needs to move over a little bit. That's what you're supposed to do. Oh. Maybe next time. Or if you really like this, maybe you could play it without me. Or I don't know. Without you? Eh. You're welcome to. Let me guess. Does this... No, that just switches the platforms around. It does oh, nothing Oh, but it closes that one. gate, too. Yeah. Well, we probably need to do this to get further this way. Doesn't look like there's anything more. And also, again, hat tokens and other associated bits... Oh, there. Now it's in wizard punching range. There you go. And now we're good. But then I think you have to actually turn both wheels. Yeah, well, I have to turn this wheel to bring it back into place. Eh. Eh. There we go. Right, because they use the bumpers for the lo rotate left and right. Well, this is just busy work. 
Because, yeah, I just have to go turn that, open this up, grab the stone block, put it on the platform, go back, raise the other gate, too, because... What? What? What's up? Maybe... What? what? He's not touching any buttons and it's... Okay. I'll just time it, it, I guess. Yep. Excellent! Woo! Uh... I probably opened the door. Yeah. But it means you have to go back and... But now we're in permanent spin mode. Maybe it's a controller disconnect, or... You know how that goes. Oh, right. I've got to turn that thing. Let's see if this reset... Oh, hey! Perfect. She's still in permanent spin mode. I'm gonna spin punch a wizard. <laughs> You're safe now, wizard. My back is turned. But in a moment, you'll be in danger once again. <laughs> oh, but you you punched the wizard, so the block wasn't sitting on the, the platform anymore. You have to do that all over again. No, I don't. <laughs>